Well, today I'm going to do a quick video on something here. Yes, I'm laying in bed. I made this video million, many, 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 many times, and I didn't like it. So, it's just going to be a real quick one. Somebody asked me how you could share the Wi-Fi on a laptop. Well, good question. Right here, here is a netbook. Right here, it's it's old. I mean, the thing is ancient. Um, uh, I bought it cheap, got from somebody almost for nothing. I upgraded it to 2 gigs of RAM, whoopee, 250 gig hard drive. Um, who cares? I mean, it's, it's a netbook. The only thing it's good for is coding and writing documents. That's all. So, with this old thing here, do you know you can actually make this thing into a wireless repeater? Yes, you can. Well, what you need is the laptop and a router. First, you connect the uh, CAD5 or CAD6, either one, I mean, it doesn't matter, to your Ethernet port on the Internet port on the router. And then connect it to the Ethernet port on your laptop. Then you go into your settings of your network manager on Linux which I'll show you how to do that right here. Now, once you're in your system, you go up to your network manager, come down to edit connections, wired connection, click edit, click on IP4 settings, and then under method, share to other computers and then click on share to other computers then save then close see it's real quick it's real easy I mean I I can't believe it's that easy but here's another thing that's great for say if you're in a hotel Wi-Fi sucks you're in some room that you're only getting a couple bars and the Wi-Fi is not the fastest in the at all I mean it's horrible but you go like down the hall and you're getting candy out of the machine and you notice the Wi-Fi is even better well connect a external wireless card to this then you can use the external wireless card to actually get better signal to this to repeat that signal from this so um, also some Wi-Fi networks at hotels have you at uh, log in um, and you have to use their their terms and conditions and stuff like that well if you're bringing a Roku box or I don't know if you could do it with a Chromecast or something like that, but I know my Roku box, uh, when I traveled a few times, I could not use it because if you're on a Wi-Fi connection that you have to sign in and you accept their terms and conditions, you can't use it. So, using this and repeating it with this, you... You uh, accept the terms and conditions on this. It'll repeat that signal through here. So, it's just a little tip that you can use an old netbook. Or, you can even use a full-size laptop to do it. I mean, you can even use your own laptop that you're traveling with to do this. But, you got to travel with a router which is not a big deal I mean they make little routers um, I think Hutu makes one 
Rav Power, I think, makes one. They actually, uh, it's like a power bank, and it's got an Ethernet port on it that actually you can um, use it as a uh, as a hotspot in the room by connecting it to the existing Ethernet in the room. Um, I think TP-Link made one. Um, Hutu. I'll put some links in the description of uh, different routers that you can use that so you don't have to lug around a big honking thing like this. I mean, yeah, this is not that bad, but if you're on the road traveling, sales, um, but the thing is, this is only working in Linux. There is a way you can do it in Windows, but I don't like the way it runs in Windows. It, you can only run up to seven users. With this set up here, I mean, you can go limitless. I mean, or as many as you want. I mean, as much as your router can handle and the bandwidth you have. So, just a little, um, little tech tip. Have a good day.